We present the case of a 14-year-old female with a one-year history of diffuse abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting that was in two weeks prior to be seen in our emergency department. Past medical history was significant for depression. On physical examination, a mass was palpable from the pigastrium to the umbilical area. CT scan revealed a mass that was contained in the stomach. This mass was characteristic of a trichal disorder. During laparoscopy, we were able to identify the rigid stomach, secondary to the mass that was in this gastric lumen. We decided to open the lesser sac in order to mobilize the stomach, in order to proceed to perform the surgery laparoscopically. We decided to measure the size of the stomach in order to tailor a bag to prevent contamination of the peritoneal cavity. Once this was accomplished, we utilized the harmonic scalpel in order to perform our gastrostomy and opening the stomach. You can see a thin gastric wall as well as the components of the thricobesor. This gastrostomy was approximately 10 centimeters in extension. Next, we proceeded to peel off the stomach wall and try to pull the besoar in our specimen bag. Most important component of doing this is avoiding as much as possible injuring the stomach wall. This patient had a Rapunzel syndrome that is characterized by a tail of the besoar traveling to the small bowel. Here in the video you can uh, see how, we, how with uh, gentle traction we are able to reduce and bring this besoar tail into the gastric cavity. It is very important to be able to reduce this tail in its totality. There are cases reported where this besoar tail can travel down to the ileocecal valve. Once the specimen is completely inside of our bag, the bag will be closed and retrieved through a funny seal incision. After our colorectal experience, we consider that uh, these type of incisions are ideal in terms of pain and even cosmesis. The specimen was uh, removed with uh, round clamps. You can see the abdomen of the patient. The final incision was closed and washed. And then we proceeded to close the gastrotomy with a monofilament absorbable suture in a running fashion. This was closed in a single layer, as it is our routine. The stomach will be next tested for air leak. The operative time was 80 minutes. The patient had an uneventful postoperative course was able to be discharged in post of day 4. Tricobesoar is an atypical cause of gastric outlet obstruction. It needs to be suspected in patients with psychiatric disorders. A large tricobesoar can be managed laparoscopically with minimal contamination. A fine seal incision is always a good option to remove a large specimen with good cosmetic results.